Hi, Stark Centeno. And this is a super interesting case um, of really how this concept of trying to go after IJV or internal jugular vein compression can go horribly wrong. And uh, this is one of my patients who really wants me to get the word out about that because um, he was in a personal situation where uh, when his atlas would go out and he didn't know it at the time uh, that that was happening, he would literally um, just start vomiting, uh, was disoriented, uh, not oriented times three, double vision, uh, changes in personality, etc. And uh, one day he found himself in a UK hospital and someone said, aha, I know what's wrong with you. It's pressure on your internal jugular vein. So they did a CT venogram and it showed issues with his left internal jugular vein, which is sitting right there. So they went ahead and uh, did a styloidectomy first and took out his styloid. Uh, they did that because they thought he had Eagle syndrome compressing that. Uh, so they took out a styloid, they went and shaved down some of his uh, atlas, and that didn't work. So they put the first stent in, into his internal jugular vein. Uh, you can still see parts of the first stent there, and that didn't help him. And then they put a second stent in, um, which you can see here, the two, which is why this got so much uh, smaller on the inside. So they put a, a stent within a stent in his internal jugular vein, and then that started to clot off and had all sorts of problems. And at the end of the day, it got put in too high. So long story short is uh, neither of those helped. Now, ultimately, it was found out that he had a craniocervical instability. We treated him with PICL twice. He's here uh, this week for his third treatment, and he's 50% better. And the biggest change is the fact that he now no longer needs to go two to three times a week. He was literally thinking of killing himself if his uh, AO chiropractor retired uh, in the UK because he wouldn't be able to get put back in place. Um, and he goes to this guy now, he was going two to three times a week to maintain. Now he's going about once every three months after two PICLs. And um, I think he's on the, the mend, but he's a great example, and I know he would want me to tell you, of going down this rabbit hole of the internal jugular vein compression with Eagle syndrome and taking out the styloids and then putting these stents in, uh, shaving down C1 for him was a total disaster. And it wasn't until somebody figured out that he had craniocervical instability and we started doing PICLs that he went the right direction. Um, so thanks so much for watching. I thought this was an interesting case. Have a great day. Hey, get this content out to more patients. Like, share, subscribe, comment.